So JD, um, a week without a Tuesday game for the first time in a while. Um, has it been good to have a bit of bit of rest? Yeah, it was much needed. Yeah, I think uh, there's a lot of games on it. I think it was seven days in 21 games. So it's always needed that clear week, you know, work on stuff. But also, like I said, give the boys a little bit, a bit of a rest because that was a uh, quite full on them seven games. Yeah, and you started all, all, all of those games. Um, did you expect to be playing so much at the start of the season? <laughs> no, not all sort of thing. I know it was coming in to, you know, help out and that whenever needed. But you know, it's. It's been good. I've actually enjoyed it, to be fair. You know, playing in this team is, is enjoyable. You see the boys, everyone's at it. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot more than I expected, but, you know, I'm actually enjoying it. So, yeah, it's good. And we've had a couple of good wins in the last couple of games as well. Four games unbeaten now, so that must give you some really good confidence going into the uh, next batch of games. Yeah, definitely, and I think it was well-deserved. You know, you see the wins, we probably could have got it's the older shot, and that should have really won that sort of thing. So, there's been some really good performances in them seven games. So, yeah, the boys are flying at the moment, and... Uh, yeah, you know, looking forward to Saturday. You're approaching 250 games for South End. Um, how proud are you to be approaching a, a landmark like that? Yeah, it's, it's nice. You know, it's nice to nice for this club. You know, I've I've really enjoyed my time here. You know, everyone knows how it's been a tricky sort of thing, but to hopefully do what I can for the club, it's been great. So hopefully we get there sooner rather than later, sort of thing. And it's a nice benchmark to hit. And do you see yourself as a bit of a sort of role model for some of the younger players in the squad now? Yeah, I try to be. So you know, I could be some of their dads, I think, and that was thing. But yeah, no, you know, you just try and pass on what you can. So it's great to work with, you know, the management team and all that, and on that side. But when I'm called upon in the playing staff, hope, uh, playing side, it's hopefully to help the younger boys come through. Yeah, and you, you mentioned the coaching duties. Um, how, how have you been finding combining that with the playing? It's brilliant. The role I spoke with the gaffer in the summer, and like I said, he was he's been so true to his word, and you know it's been a great role. I've been learning every day, and it's it's, it's perfect. You know to see how they work every day, and they've it brought me in. And uh, like I said, I'm so thankful that you know get to work with that group because they're a very very like talented group of staff. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm lucky that I get to learn that every day. And we've been able to add to the squad in the last few weeks um, at long last. What's it been like having some new faces in, in the dressing room? It's nice, you know, I think it was a year without someone, something like that. So, you know, it's just it's sometimes fresh blood, fresh face, it kind of lifts the tempo. And I think that's what it's probably done the last few years, really pushes people sort of thing. So, you know, it's nice to get some fresh faces in the building. How has that mindset been maybe over the summer starting to, to really turn your attentions to the, the coaching but then when the, the problems have started this season to, to be involved so much more than, than you thought? Is it a change of approach? No, it's fine. I think the gaff sucked me in. Sort of, yeah, come back in, you can be things. So, yeah, I think you just... I, mean, I think once you do the first game and you see that, you know, actually you're not that far off it, you can still play sort of thing, that helps. But, you know, anything now I do is just... I just want, I don't want to let anyone down and I've said that together. So hopefully I've helped them and the, the group and I think that's what you get, like, a little bit older. It's more doing it for the boys, for the manager, just to just not any, let anyone down. That's the main thing. So, yeah, it's good. And it has that helped as well, having the, the coaching side of things, being a bit more involved on that, but also being on the, the pitch with, with the other players as well. Is there sort of a, be, a benefit to that, maybe? Yeah, it does definitely help because also I think also the p- positioning helps a little bit more. It's not as much running, so that helps. So I ain't got to lie. But yeah, I think you get to see it day in, day out, so you know what the coaches want and what we're going after. So I can hopefully be that voice on the pitch when I'm a little bit closer to put on. But like I said, they do it all and they're, they're brilliant now. So it's just if I can help in that way, I'm, I'm uh, happy to do so. And defensively, despite the, the changes that there have been in personnel, things have, have been good. And we've talked to the uh, the, the boss about the, the clean sheets and how pleasing that is. That must be a, a good part of the game. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. You know, I've always been a defender, but I'm always more worried about more some of the attacking side. So you go that side back free, so you are more reliant on the clean sheets. But the boys around have been brilliant, you know, like they're so desperate to keep clean sheets. And you can see it throughout the team sort of thing. So... It just gives you that platform to build, and then everywhere you go, and knowing that you could get a clean sheet, or you should do, it allows the boys up the field to do their job as well. So no, it's a, it puts us in good stead in most games. Yeah, you have managed to have a break without a midweek game this week, which prepares you for the long journey to to Yeovil this weekend. Uh, side that, that you'll all know very well in the National South now doing well, and, and a few familiar faces too. Yeah, you know it's been a nice week. I ain't gonna lie, I've had to have a couple of days off myself. They've looked after me, excellent, but. Yeah, it's brilliant for the boys, and like I said, we're looking forward to it. It'd be nice to get a, a nearer draw, obviously, but yeah, like I said, we know the boys and we know what we've got to do. And you know, I've been at this club a long time, and we haven't been as confident going the FA Cup because of form, but where the form's good now in the league, and everyone everyone's looking forward to the weekend, so it's such a positive. And uh, hopefully, like I said, we, we beat them and, and we'll see what happens after that. Yeah, and that you can kind of hopefully take that momentum from, from the league into the FA Cup because it is a, a competition that hasn't 
hasn't been too kind to the club in recent years. Yeah, I think we've been here, what's my eight seasons, we've been that kind. Yeah, we've been out a lot of the first round. So no, it's, it's definitely, I think it's momentum, that's what normally takes you in there. And at the moment, we're in really good momentum and everyone's looking forward to the game. You know, sometimes I've been in before and I think, this could be a potential banana skin. It probably has a few times, but now with the, the team and staff, we, we, we're ready for the Saturday and looking forward to it. Yeah, and do you think that helps, the, the fact that the, the side is in the good form, especially when, when there is a smaller squad, there are knocks and injuries around, you know, it'd be very easy for people to be a bit down and think, oh, another game we've got to get up for. But when you're winning, you just want to keep playing. 100%. It's easy when the games you win. Everyone wants to play next game. Don't get as many injuries. You know, it's, that's how it works and that's what I meant. And that's what shows a good side sort of things. You know, everyone's chomping at a bit and wanting to play, whereas maybe recent years people looking at oh it's just another game oh do we need this now we're looking at it like no we can go there win you know what I mean so yeah definitely it bodes well for the team where do you get your uh, energy levels from <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is I think playing that position I find it uh, you probably think it's probably not as much running because we have a lot yeah. of the ball which is great so I think you still have that little bit of energy to get up a few times sort of thing so that and a few red balls probably helps yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking back so it's uh, two years ago this week since the Chesterfield game where all of that happened and the fans were on the pitch and you stepped in as, as the manager for the FA yeah. Cup and it's chalk and cheese now isn't it when you look back at that I mean how low was this group at that point? I think that, that that's for me is the most impressive job what the management and the staff have done there is pick it up from there because as you know that game I remember that game after the Chesterfield I thought I remember in the car going, we are so low. I don't see where this club's going. I was so worried for it, thinking we are close to going under. And everyone, the, the club really stunk in and out, didn't it? Everything was losing. But the job they've done from there to now is, is, is honestly it's chalk and cheese, like you said. And everyone, you feel the confidence in the group and everyone wants to play and everyone wants to play for the club. It's just, honestly, it's one side to the other. And I can't believe how, what I can now see now, work, how hard they work. But they've done such a good job to get it from where it was to where it was because we was in a bad place at that time. Yeah, because people forget just how low it was, don't they? Just, I mean, we could easily have been way over that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, it, we could have easily slipped in there. And the club, I think when you get into a run of losing, it, 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 as much as it becomes easy winning, it's the same with losing. I remember taking that, I think it was a church game, when I think to myself, we could easily slip into a loss here of, what yeah. say, like three or two, three leagues below us. And I'm thinking, that was how low we was. So it was to now come up to teams now and thinking oh, if we get a team higher I know what we could go into at the moment so it's, it's come a long way but yeah it was scary to think how low he was